Welcome. Information Nigeria brings to you all you need to know about the over 8 month old as a strike. Strike actions has always been a way for the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, to express their dissatisfaction over the government's constant failure to meet their growing demands and expectations since 1999. Ever since Nigeria returned to civil rule under the Fourth Republic, the Union have gone on strike, wait for it, 14 times in total, and they have been away from work for about 14 months. The major reason for ASU strike action always seems to boil down to the poor funding of government-owned universities. Each time there is a dispute between the union and the government, meetings are held in a bid to resolve them. Everything is eventually resolved after the government promises the union that their demands will be met. However, the government usually reneges on its promises causing another strike action almost every other year. This year, ASU went on a strike in March following its disagreement with the federal government over the funding of universities and implementation of the IPPIS, which according to the union negates the autonomy policy for the universities. During the over eight month old strike, the union have kept on requesting for Earned Academic Allowances EAA, conclusion of the renegotiation of the 2009 FGN ASU agreements, revitalization fund for public universities, and discontinuation of proliferation of state universities, among others. Although the union finally came to an agreement with the federal government after a meeting was held, the government's negotiation team, led by Senator Chris Ngige, reportedly increased its offer for earned allowances and funding for the revitalization of public universities from 65 billion naira to 70 billion naira. ASO released a tweet where they insisted that the funding should be implemented before the union suspends its strike action. There were reports that the union had called off their strike after it agreed to accept the government's total payment of 70 billion naira as well as the payment of their outstanding salaries which must not be done through the Integrated Personnel, Payroll and Information System IPPIS. The union was said to have created its own payment platform known as the University Transparency and Accountability Solution UTAS. However, ASU President Professor Biodu Oguyemi denied knowledge of any agreement to call off the strike. Oguyemi stated that it was only agreed at the meeting that the union would convey the government's message to their organs and give them a feedback. The leadership of ASU has requested that it be given till Wednesday, December 9th, to round up its consultations with its chapters on the terms of resolution of the dispute with the federal government. It remains to be seen if the strike will be called off before the end of the year. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and check out our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video. Three. Three. They are in public school. They are not in private universities. Like, uh, unlike ASU members, most of their children are in private universities. Mine are here. Three. Those I put on scholarship, about 15 of them. So I'm a very big stakeholder in the public school system, the tertiary public school system. I am. So when ASU say, oh, politicians have taken their children abroad, that's why they don't care. Chris Ngige cares because my children are not uh, abroad. Even though they, are, they have dual nationality, two of them are American citizens. They can be in America. Uh, but I, I, I choose them to be here with me. Well, Senator, uh, did so you get an impression? Point. So ASU cannot accuse me of, be, of not being nationalistic enough. So anything that will help the university system here, I'm in the forefront. I like UTAS because if UTAS works, 
It's a homegrown technology. It's a homegrown thing. And, and that helps uh, 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 presidential order three and uh, five. And we will save our foreign exchange because it's a homegrown thing. So, so uh, let our uh, super president not call me a conspirator. I'm, I'm more nationalistic about national, the public university than even him and his members. I am.